My name is Lindsay Forsythe, and uh, my husband Brett and I have a son named Brady who is 10 years old, um, and he was diagnosed in 2018 with PANDAS, which is um, Pediatric Acute Onset Neuropsychiatric Disorder After Strep, which is basically a lot of scientific jargon for uh, post-infectious, so after an infection, autoimmune encephalitis. His body attacks itself and it manifests itself in an attack on the brain. In February of 2018, when he was in first grade, we noticed some very dramatic changes in our um, typically incredibly happy child. It just, emotionally, he would have these outbursts. It got to a point where we couldn't even talk him through. Something that a month prior wasn't an issue, and then to be able to get him to take a bath, he would just throw fits and sit in the corner of his room or yell and scream and and then when we would ask him, you know, what's wrong, he would even, he was even to the point where he would not know. He, he would say, I don't know what's wrong. And, you know, the more we got into it, we started questioning, is it, gosh, is he, is he bipolar? Is he, did he have abuse? Did, did, did something happen? The way that we came to our diagnosis is a friend of mine happened to work as a health department member at our school. And she said to me, I think that he might have the symptoms of pandas. So what happens with a lot of kids with pandas, pandas is they will have a whole slew of symptoms and it looks different for every kid in every flare. So a lot of times you'll see OCD, intrusive thoughts, or they have to continue to say things, or they have to continue to ask things, irrational fears, separation anxiety, and uresis, which um, potty trained children will wet their pants. Potty trained children will wet the bed at night. I mean, this is like 16, 17 year old kids, suicidal thoughts. So there's all these symptoms that you get, you might get one in a flare, you might get another, a different flare. It's almost like this, just this weird game of roulette. And it's, it's incredibly sad. A few doses of the antibiotics and all of a sudden he was just back to being happy, playful kid. And it was just like, oh, you know, our son's back. So it was just, you know, it was just a, but again, there's, you can get to a point where that won't do the trick. Um, so it's just, that's why we want to be cautious. The challenge, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. I'm starting to recognize what it feels like when something's happening. Usually I get emotional or a separation anxiety and things. When I get like a vaccine or like a shot, ticks happen. Um, or I like sniff like that or I blink really fast. <laughs> right hand, green. What? He's been a real trooper. It has not been an easy road, but he handles it with a lot of grace and I'm, we're just, we're so thankful that he's as healthy as he is considering. I would usually recommend that people um, go to the PANDAS Network, P-A-N-D-A-S Network. The PANDAS Network is a huge resource um, with lots of links and lots of videos and lots of just digestible information for parents who think the parent, their child might have it. And again, one in 200 kids has it, so there's a good chance that anybody that's watching this at least knows of somebody.